Whenever a web developer starts working on the backend and while making API calls from the front end, one of the very common error that most of the developers encounter is the course error. A few moments later. So if you are someone who is currently facing this issue, then this video is what you need to watch right now. So I've created this project folder in which I have two folders within it, one for the backend called as server and one for the front end called as client. So I have my backend in which I've created a server using Express and I've defined an API endpoint over here. And this server is currently hosted on port 8000. So the origin uh, right now is localhost 8000. I've also created my frontend using React in which I am making a call to this particular API. And here I've simply specified the backend origin with the API endpoint. And when I try to run this, so this would be running on localhost 5173 and if I open the console over here you can see that we are getting this course error access to fetch at localhost 8000 from origin localhost 5173 has been blocked by the course policy so you must also be getting this sort of error so before resolving this let's first try to understand what exactly is this course course stands for cross origin resource sharing as the name suggests, course is a mechanism which allow web pages in one domain to make requests and interact with resources hosted on some other domain. But are the browsers not allowed to do so by default? The answer is no. And that is why if we go back to the console, we can see that if access control allow origin header is present on our requested resource, that is localhost 8000, then with the help of course, we would be able to make this particular request. If you're not still able to get it, don't worry. Let's try to understand it with our case. So here our front end application, which is hosted at localhost 5173 is trying to make a request to an API on the backend, which is hosted at localhost 8000. As you can see that both the origins are different and hence this is a cross origin request. And according to the same origin policy of the browsers, resource sharing are only allowed if both have the same origins. Hence, by default, such requests are not allowed. But this can be made possible with the help of course. That allows servers to specify who can access their resources and under what conditions. So when browsers see this type of request, it first goes to the course and checks if this particular origin has the permission to access the resources or not. If in the course we have specified that we should allow this particular origin to access our resources, then we are able to fetch the data. This is nothing but a security feature that is there in the browser so that no one randomly is able to make the calls or access the data without permission. So in order to give this special permission, we'll have to enable cores in our backend. So let's get back to our code. So I'll first open my terminal and install cores. So uh, since I'm using Express over here, I'll be using the course middleware. But if you're working with other backend programming languages, there are different ways to handle course. So I'll first go to my server folder, which is the backend folder, and I'll write the command npm install course. And once this is installed, we would be able to see it in our package.json file. So yeah, here it is specified. Now as the next step, we need to go to our server.js file and let me copy this and write a similar one. So I will first write a require statement and before specifying all of my API handlers, I'll have to write this particular middleware that is course. Now, if you don't write anything within this course, that means you are allowing all the origins to make requests to your backend. And this is equivalent to writing origin as star. Now, if we save this and uh, see what we are getting on our console, let me refresh this. And here you can see that the message is specified. And if we go to the network tab and click this local host, you can see that access control allow origin header is present and star is specified. That means we are allowing all the origins to make request. Now you might be thinking that what if we only want a specific origin to make a request to a backend? So that can also be done. So let me allow only this one to make a request to a backend. So instead of writing star over here, we can write 5173 and save it. Let's see what is happening now. Let me refresh, click on localhost. You can see that now in the access control allow origin, 51, localhost 5173 is specified. And yet again, we are able to get the data. So what if I write say 5174 
and save this. It should throw me an error, the same type of error that we were seeing initially. So if we go to the console now and do a refresh, you can see that this has been blocked by course policy. So we are get, again getting the error and in the network tab, there is an error as we can see that localhost 5174 has been specified as the access control allow origin. So this is the power of course, hence uh, it's always advisable to use course in your project whenever you want to make API calls from your front end. And if you're working on a real project, it's always a good idea that if you only want to allow specific origins to specify them here instead of writing just course and allowing all sorts of origins to make requests to your backend. So you can see how easy it was to resolve this error. I have myself spent hours to resolve this error. And from my experience, I did not want my viewers to face this issue. And that's why I wanted to make this video. And this is also one of the commonly asked interview question as well. So you must know what exactly is course. So that's all for this video. And if you're new to backend and you want me to create a video on how to create a backend server, make APIs and call them through the front end, do let me know in the comment section down below. And if you like this video, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to this channel for more such informative videos in the future.